I grew up in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I went to college at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I swam and ran in college, and my final year there, I was contacted by USA Triathlon. Barb Lindquist contacted me and kind of said, hey, I think you should try out triathlon. At the time, I wasn't super excited about it. I had a full-time job lined up with Ernst & Young, and Barb really just convinced me though, you know, she helped me out every step of the way, helped me find my coach Cindy Banning, who I love and we work great together and helped me get a bike and things like that and she said you can keep your job and do triathlon, do both and so I thought I had nothing to lose so I tried it out. My first competitive triathlon was in 2010 down in Claremont, Florida. I remember it was in March and so I had spent the entire winter like indoors in Wisconsin on a trainer and um, you know going down to Claremont, Florida and being able to ride outside and ride with the other girls was just super fun and it also um, it was a little humbling you know I, I went out there and I, I, I really wanted to do better and that's kind of when I knew I wanted to take triathlon a little more seriously. I love doing ITU triathlon. When I first started triathlon, I had no idea what it was, that it existed, anything like that. When I thought of triathlon, I thought of Ironman. So it's Olympic distance, which means it's about a mile swim, a 40K bike, and a 10K run. But the thing that really makes it unique is that on the bike, we're able to draft. So it's similar to like um, the Tour de France, where everyone's in a big bike pack. And so a lot of times, that means that you have to be a stronger swimmer and runner in that type of triathlon. In London, a uh, year before the Olympics, there was a pre test preview event on the course and went there and going into the race, us USA girls knew that if we were in the top nine and first or second American that we qualify. I think I, I, was, I got a little lucky in that our bike packs merged and we all came into T2 together and it definitely just, you know, was feeling good. I went into the race wanting to do the best that I could do, do and that's kind of what I did and, you know, my coach and everyone that's been supporting me really helped set me up so that I was the best on that day. Growing up, I was obsessed with the Olympics. You know, I always watched it on TV. I loved watching every sport. It didn't matter what it was. But at the same time, I never dreamed of myself going there. It wasn't actually a dream of mine growing up. So to be able to go now is just an incredible honor and something I'm really excited about. It's something I think brings the whole world together and to be able to experience that is just incredible.